Okay, to, today I'm going to explain okay, the question 14 for the SPM MX paper 2 year 2012. Okay, okay, this is the question for the chapter solution of triangle. Okay, so I think this chapter uh, this question considered quite simple. Anyways, I just go through it quickly. Okay, so first you say question 14. Okay, solution by skill drawing is not acceptable it means you cannot use ruler to measure what's the length here you have to use those formula to calculate out okay so first diagram 14 show triangle abc such that this angle is 24 and the length for ab is 9 centimeter okay simple okay and then give it is given that the area of triangle abc is 28 cm square means the area of this triangle abc is 28 okay so first what what they want he, they want to you calculate the length bc mean he want you to calculate here okay so this question actually is quite simple okay let's say i just scratch out the triangle okay let's say i have a triangle like this Okay. Okay. Obviously, this one doesn't look like. Okay, draw one more time. Okay, so look like something like this. Okay. And then B A B is nine centimeter. The angle over here is thirty four. Okay. So we got the angle is thirty four angle, and then he gives us the area is twenty eight cm square. The area will be twenty eight cm square. Okay, so now they want to find the length of BC. Okay, so we know in this chapter solution triangle we have a formula for area. Area area will equal to one over two. Okay, two two side multiple. So in here will be AB multiple BC and then multiple sides thirty four mean two side and angle on between which is the area okay normally they are one over two a multiple b multiple sine c mean this is the length a b and the sine c which is the middle okay this is just the formula of the solution of triangle okay normally it's like that okay i just draw out this is a b c so this one they call it angle c so normally the formula is one over two a b and then sine C means the angle on between two sides and angle on between simple okay now we got the area is 28 so equal to 1 over 2 AB is 9 BC and then sine 34 sine 34 we will got okay 0 0.56 okay then we just solve this equation we can get BC so therefore BC will equal to Okay, okay, 9, okay, multiple size 34 multiple 9 divided by 2. Okay, and then we've got 28 divided by 2.1516. Okay, then 28 divided by answer. The length of BC will equal to 11.13 cm means the length BC will equal to 11.13 you just solve this one to get BC very simple this one multiple this one multiple this one and then you will got 2.516 BC and then move the 2.516 over there so you got 28 divided by 2.516 then you press the calculator you got 11.13 which is the length BC this is 11.13 Okay, and then for the part B, he asks you to find the length BC. Means he want you to calculate A B C blah. He want you to calculate uh, the length A C. Means they want to calculate this length. A C is this length. Okay, so we just apply another formula for that. So in order to get the length A C, okay, we know we got one formula is A C square will equal to a square plus b square so it'll be 9 square plus 11.13 square okay and then minus 2 a b cos angle okay this formula is 
a square plus b square minus 2 multiple a b cos angle that's all means the length of c okay normally is c square equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos c okay for same same for here if if you want to get the length c the formula is c square equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos c okay this is the formula so i just apply the formula over here then i can get the length ac will equal to square root of the everything so i just press the calculator 9 square plus 11.13 square okay and then minus 2 multiple 9 multiple 11.13 multiple cos 34 and then square so i will got square root of 38.7 9 okay so i square root answer i will got 6.23 cm which is the length of ac over here i will got 6.23 so after i calculate i will got 6.23 okay this is the length ac then we almost done okay part one and part two then we go to part three he wants to calculate the angle ACB okay where is ACB mean he want you to calculate this angle this is very simple you just apply the you just apply the uh, the size rule in the solution of triangle so okay, I just apply the size rule over here so it's very simple so okay so I say size okay apply the size rule size ACB ACB mean is mean is this angle size angle ACB divided by opposite length is 9 will equal to okay we use either one okay we use size 34 size 34 divided by the opposite length is 6.23 okay then we solve it so size angle ACB will equal to okay will equal to size 34 divided by 6.23 and then okay I press again size 34 divided by 6.23 and then multiple 9 okay I will got 0 0.0.8078 0 .8. okay so I want to get angle ACB so what I need to do is I, what, what I need to do is I move the sign over there will become shift sign 0 0.8078 then I can get the angle so I just press shift sign answer I will get the angle will be okay 53 angle 53 minutes that's all for the angle ACB because he want us to find angle ACB so it's very simple as long as you know about all, all this formula I think this formula is given in in your friendship there so this is just size rule like the question previous just use cost rule and the area just use the area formula okay done done then we go to this part B okay point C lies on the BC such that AC will seem with the AC mean the new C will seem with the new C okay what is this mean this meaning okay okay now I show you I show you the a B and C over here okay okay we got this one a B C okay this is a, I draw following the diagram okay he said the new C will lie on the line B C this is line B C okay okay and then he got another condition the line A C the new A C must be same with this must be same length with this one so in order to same length with this one then I have to draw a isosceles triangle do you see isosceles triangle I have to make sure the length of here and length of here is, is the same because you see AC must same with AC and then C the new C must lie on this line so I know the new C is over here do you see that AC is same with the AC because it's isosceles triangle and then point the new C must lie on the line BC lie on the line BC C is over here so fulfill two of the condition then he asks you scratch the 
triangle ABC. So I, I want to scratch this A, B, and C. Yeah? As long as you understand about first sentence, the following part will be very simple for you to do. Okay, so I just scratch it. So, okay, I scratch accordingly. Okay, so it will be like this. Okay, this is A, B. So this is C. Okay, it well, looks something like this. A, B, and a new C. Means I just draw out this one. Okay, A, B, and C. This is a new triangle. Okay, after I draw out already, okay, I, I must write out whatever information I have here first. So this line, this length will same with this length. So this is 6.23, means this one will be 6.23 as well. So this one, length will be 6.23. Okay, this angle is 34, remain, because this angle is remain. This length is 9, remain. Okay, and then I actually can find out this angle as well. Okay, since this is isosceles triangle, mean this angle is the same with this angle, right or not? Because this is isosceles triangle, what? Both of these are the same length, means these two angles is the same. So just now we got the angle is 53 and 53, it's not mistaken. Yeah, just now we got the angle ACB is 53, 53. Mean we know this one is 53, 53. That means the angle over here is 53, 53 as well. That means this angle is 53, 53 as well. That means this angle will be 180 minus this angle. Because here is 53, 53, what? Minus 53, 53. Then we will got. Okay, one A O minus answer. We have got one hundred and twenty six, and then seven minutes. One hundred twenty six degrees seven minutes for this angle. Okay, okay. Then of course one triangle is one hundred and thirty. You can get this angle as well. Use one hundred a one hundred thirty, but use one hundred eighty minus these two angle. You can get here. Of course. You, you already got all the information, then we see what the question one. Okay, ask you to scratch, I scratch already. Part B, I'll ask you to calculate the area. Mean he want you to calculate what is this area. Area is very simple. Use two lengths and one angle on between. Okay, of course we do not know this length, so better we use this angle. Two lengths and one angle on between, so we calculate out what is this angle. So this angle is 180 minus these two. So I just press the calculator. 180 minus 126 angle 7 minutes. And then minus 34. Okay, then I will got this angle actually is 19 angle 53 minutes. Okay, then very simple for us to get the area. So the area for A, B, C of the triangle ABC will equal to half and then two length 9 multiple 6.23 multiple size angle on between so it will be size 1953 and just press the calculator you can easily get the answer so okay so okay size answer multiple 6.23 multiple 9 divided by 2 so I will got the area will be 9.53 cm square. That's all. Okay, let me press one more time in order to make sure there's no mistake. Okay, then what half multiple 9 multiple 6.23 multiple size 19 angle 53 minutes. Yeah, the answer is correct. So this is the area. Then we done the whole solution of triangle. Okay, it's actually this question is quite simple. So first you might understand, it gives you the area of triangle is 28. What's the purpose? It gives you this one because you can actually find length of BC because we got the area formula. Two length multiple size angle on between. Half multiple two length multiple size angle on between. Then we can get BC. After we get BC, we can easily get AC by using the cost rule. Because A square plus B square minus 2AB cos angle will equal to AC square. So you know this formula, you can easily find AC. After that, he asks you to find angle. It means you want to find this angle. After you got this length, you can use science rule. Angle over this length 
equal to angle, size angle over this line. That's all. After that, you have to understand this sentence and then sketch out the new triangle. So you sketch a isosceles triangle here because AC must same line with AC. And then the new C must on the line of BC, so it's over here. So you got the new triangle like this. So after you draw it out, he asks you to calculate area. So you write out whatever information you have, the length of this one, the angle of this one, then you can get the angle of this one. Then you got two length and one angle in between, you can get the area. That's all for this question. I hope this video can make you understand better about solution of triangle. Thanks for watching.